G'day, it's Joe Parner here. I just thought uh, I'd take a few minutes today to, uh, to share with you, and I hope you're well by the way, um, to share with you the fork in the road that I found myself in about six or seven years ago when I was considering a career in coaching. I was in a job that um, I had enjoyed for, for a long time. I, I'd been doing it for about seven years. For five of those seven years, I really enjoyed it. And then it was something irking me in those last two years, which was a sense of um, boredom, a sense of repetition, a sense of doing the same old, same old. And uh, the alarm bells might be going off in your head right now, as you could probably hear, being the fire alarm. I don't think it's our building though, so I think we're okay. Um, is that I was starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable with where I was at because I hadn't been enjoying my job for so long and all of a sudden, over a period of two years, I wasn't feeling good about it anymore. And I was stuck in that fork in the road where I was going to have to make a decision, a choice whether I was going to keep doing the same old, same old um, and potentially become a, you know, an individual who's depressed in his 40s or do I go in, into the unfamiliar, into the unknown and uh, have a go at actually uh, creating opportunities for myself and my family in a field that was exciting, that was enticing, that was value-adding, that was, that was laced with the theme of making a difference. And so back in 05, I went to a... Um, it was an information night I went to with uh, Sharon Pearson and a few other people and it was fascinating. It was a fascinating introduction to a whole world I didn't even know existed. And what happened was for the first time in probably 10 years, I'd experienced what was known as a calling to my calling, if that kind of makes sense. Rather than being attracted to another job or another opportunity, this felt different. It was a calling. It was something that uh, not only had a deep feeling for me and a resonance for me, but it was something that what I would call, um, and forgive me for this if this, uh, if this doesn't come across right, but it, it was something that had real meaning to it. In other words, I liked the idea, I loved the idea that I could do a career that actually made a difference for others. In other words, where I could actually help someone with problems that maybe that they had for many, many years in one session. And coaching um, has given me that uh, gift of where I can be with someone and help them overcome a problem that, you know, with their thinking or with the way they construct their reality. Um, in, 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 a, in a session where uh, they may, may have been trying to resolve this problem through many different means over a period of many, many years. This calling um, has taken me to places I didn't even know existed. Um, it's been phenomenal. Um, this coaching journey has uh, taught me how to be a better father. It's taught me how to be a better man. It's, it's taught me how to grow up. Um, I'll never ever admit to being a total grown up, but progress, moving forward. Um, it's taught me how to be a better husband, a better partner to my wife. Um, you know, one of the fears that I had was that going into this space, into this place of this calling, was going to actually take Sylvana and I, that's my wife, uh, you know, away from each other. But instead, what it actually taught us was how to bring each other even closer to each other. And uh, the impact that it's made on, on my other relationships and my friendships around um, other parts of my life has been phenomenal. Not to mention spiritual health and uh, also physical health. Um, it's impacted me in every, in every which way. Which is why I stand here passionately sharing with you that um, if you feel something inside, like a calling to wanting to help people, wanting to make a difference, wanting to have a career path that um, has a sense of reality to it. Um, a classic example is literally only about two or three hours ago, I was, in a, uh, I was at a council called Bringbank City Council, uh, over in a place called Keelor here in Melbourne. And I was delivering some of my some of the coaching content that I got, you know, from my course. And um, in one hour, the transformation in the people that were in the room in that one hour, um, who who you know came up to me afterwards, saying to me how they've been attending courses that are personal development or soft skills for many many years, and in this one hour, they've they've got more out of this one hour than all of the other courses combined. I mean, what else do I need to say? And it's got nothing to do with me. It's to do with the fact that I've been immersing myself in this, in this whole journey and learning to live this, these principles of uh, coaching in my life. And, and that really translates well when, uh, when you and I, uh, you or I, are in front of a room delivering some content or indeed coaching someone one-on-one. -on -one. So if anything I've said with you or shared with you here resonates, that you can connect with, that pulls at some part of your heart that hasn't been perhaps touched for some time, um, maybe you might want to consider uh, looking, having a look at coaching, having a look at coaching and training as a potential uh, avenue, direction for how you can sustainably and replicably uh, contribute to those around you and have it as a career path. And here I am now seven years later and uh, things are pretty good. I mean, uh, my wife and I have got a pair of twin boys uh, living the lifestyle that we choose to live. 
um, which is phenomenal. Um, and I know that with the income that I'm making, that you know, for most for most people, say in the executive world, they might have to be working 70, 80 hours a week at least to uh, to take um, home the money that uh, that I'm certainly experiencing in my business. Um, but as you, as I know that you know, this is this is not about the money. The money just it simply gives us the choice, the choice to choose, the freedom of choice. So what I'm looking forward to is in, a, in, a, in about a year and a half when we need to choose schools for our two boys. The choices will not be based on finances. The choices will be based on what's best for those kids. And uh, you know what? That might be a very expensive choice, might be a cheap choice. It doesn't matter. The fact is what matters is that the freedom to choose is there. And that's what finances uh, does, uh, does for us. That's how I look at it anyway. So if you, as I said, if, if this is something that resonates with you and you can connect with, what I would encourage you to do is that on this page, um, there's a section where you can enter your details. And in doing that now, what you will receive um, is access to $197 worth of value. And it's called a coaching resource pack. And it's a phenomenal pack to, uh, to even get you started. There's enough information in there for you to even start coaching before you even officially begin uh, your, your education process. So um, you'll see the details somewhere on this page, uh, space to, to have your details um, typed in. And uh, I look forward to uh, hopefully uh, meeting you at some stage where I rose my cross many times hopefully. And uh, I trust this has been of value and hopefully this has uh, spoken to your, to your heart. Thanks guys.